Hello, welcome to ASEAN Talks on ASEAN TV. I am Tulip Nak Sumpop, your host in this episode. And today we are at Swiss Hotel Nailert Park. Um, just because today there is a launch of the new project, which is called the ASEAN Biocontrol for Sustainable Agri-Food Systems. The project is launched, um, it's the cooperation by the ASEAN Secretariat, the Department of Agriculture of Thailand's Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives, and also Suriyan Vijit Lekan, the Assistant Director and Head of the Agriculture Industry Natural Resources Division of ASEAN Secretariat, and also Mr. Matthias Bickel, the Director of ASEAN Biocontrol for Sustainable Green Food Systems Project from the German International Corporation or GIC. First of all, thank you very much for your time today. Um, I guess the first thing we should discuss because the name of the project itself is called ASEAN Biocontrol for Sustainable Agri-Food System. What is biocontrol? Yeah, thank you very much for the invitation. We're very happy <laughs> to be here for sure and share some information with you um, on the project. So biocontrol, what is biocontrol? Biocontrol um, is the naturally derived uh, product um, in the frame of sustainable agricultural inputs. Um, which you need in order to optimize outputs. So the very question here is to, to lose less, to lose less. So 20, 20 to 40 percent um, of agricultural harvests are um, oftentimes uh, lost before the harvest. Right. And that is why you have a variety of uh, different inputs to apply in order to um, minimize the overall loss and that could be done in a variety of ways mm -hmm. I mean either by um, chemical inputs or by biological inputs so biocontrol means um, naturally derived products naturally derived products um, which are safe and which um, yeah, uh, promote the overall sector um, agri-food sector in a very sustainable way if you say something like it's natural product, a lot of people will call those kind of thing organic. Is it related or yeah. similar? Yeah, or? it's definitely related. Uh, okay. So, but it's uh, tackling different parts of the value chain. Okay. So I'm just giving you an example. If you talk about um, organic agricultural produce, that is actually the very uh, final product which the consumer buys in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Um, and these products um, could be organic or these products could be pesticide reduced um, or without any, any label at all. Pesticide um, reduced. We are talking here uh, today about um, agricultural inputs. So inputs the farmers and farmer association buy in order to produce these agricultural products. And these products in turn, uh, for example, uh, fertilizer or pesticides or even seeds, um, they could be chemical or, well, when I, when I talk about pesticide for sure, right, right. or, um, or biopesticides. You know? so, so, so you're talking inputs. about the, the, the production process that yes, try to exactly. make it most organic as possible, more exactly. organic as possible. So it's literally a means, a means um, of um, promoting, enhancing the overall sustainable production of right. safe agricultural right. products. Okay, and uh, we talk about biocontrol for sustainable agri-food systems. Mm -hmm. I know we talk a little off camera before, why don't just call it agriculture mm -hmm. as a whole, mm -hmm. why we have to uh, specific mm -hmm. on agri-food. Mm -hmm. So the agricultural sector in the ASEAN region is of course one of the most important pillars of um, uh, GDP contribution, I have to say, mm -hmm. and if you um, think about uh, the overall amount of uh, farmers, of, of people involved in agriculture, that's quite a lot and definitely significant. Um, so why it's not, not called agriculture? Agriculture is a, is a very broad term, which also includes, for example, um, the forestry sector. Right. And also um, when it comes then to um, a narrow definition of agriculture, um, subsectors, value chains like uh, rubber, 
but you cannot eat rubber. I mean, rubber is the very true. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would definitely not uh, not not really uh, be okay. healthy. Okay. Um, so rubber is definitely excluded since the ASEAN member states um, mm -hmm. decided that they would um, yeah need some more support um, advisory services from our side, from German International Corporation and the Federal Republic of Germany, regarding the food sector as such. So in this regard, we are just about to select some priority crops. Mm -hmm. uh, priority crops meaning um, if you talk about um, the use of um, the efficient use of limited resources um, in the project, of course, uh, we are well advised to pick priority crops where the most ASEAN member states have a keen interest in. And um, it seems to be very likely that this will be um, rice, vegetables right. and fruits. Right. But not saying that other subsectors, value chains, could not be tackled at the same time. But this is a priority because it's the majority. Exactly. Of the, okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, before we go in even more details about mm -hmm. the project mm -hmm. itself, mm -hmm. maybe yes. we should uh, start. How is this project come together? Because I know it's a cooperation between three organizations. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, the ASEAN Secretariat, which is you are the assistant director and also the head of agriculture, industries and natural resources division. And um, mm -hmm. also with the uh, GIZ and also with the, with the, uh, the Department of Agriculture of Thailand. So how, how has it come together? How long this project has been going on? Well, um, in fact, addressing the issues of uh, agricultural development has been part of ASEAN policy process for a long time. The issue is how agriculture can contribute to the current process of uh, ASEAN community building through promoting sustainable development. Then uh, the issues that relate to the project was that how we can make our agri-food, in, in other words, food from agriculture sector, mm -hmm. more safe with less impact on environment. Mm -hmm. Then the issues of use of biocontrol has been already in practice, but mm -hmm. there's been some li limitation in terms of how cooperation can enhance the use uh, more so that uh, farmers can uh, access to this kind of technology. Then Thailand, as one of the leading countries, mm -hmm. took initiative to raise this as an area in which regional cooperation can enhance uh, the initiative. Then uh, after discussion, ASEAN Secretariat uh, suggests that we can develop a project. Mm -hmm. Then this project has been submitted uh, to seek funding support and technical assistance uh, from GIZ. And since there on, the project has been uh, uh, approved and Thailand has been requested to lead. And after three years process of uh, developing a project proposal. This is already after three years today. Yeah, the, okay. in the making. Okay, in then the now making. <laughs> we come to the point of the end of the new beginning right. of uh, launching the project right. and looking into how we can jointly address this issue so that uh, farmers and agriculture sector can have better use of biocontrol agent. Mm. Can I ask you why GIZ? Well, uh, partly we have known uh, GIZ as an agency promoting international cooperation. Mm -hmm. The previous work of uh, German government uh, in this area has also been recognized. And uh, with the work that they have uh, implemented elsewhere, mm -hmm. uh, not only within the region, has also proved to show good initiative and progress. So uh, noting this uh, advancement in uh, this kind of issues and also willingness to work with ASEAN, so this has been identified as one of the strategic cooperative uh, issues. Okay. So, uh, and where we are here. Mm. Okay. So we're talking about the whole ASEAN region itself, but mm. this is the startup point. The project started in Thailand. Yeah. And now it's on the uh, research kind of um, process. I, I, I see in the press, uh, information that the project is ha it has the plan until 2017. Mm -hmm. So, what area does that cover mm -hmm. to, until 2017? That covers actually a couple of areas. But uh, first, allow me to go back to your first first question. Um, so, this is a cooperation between uh, the Federal Republic of Germany mm -hmm. and um, ASEAN Secretariat on behalf of ASEAN. 
Right. So the project is only only hosted in Thailand at the Department of Agriculture, right. um, but they um, all the ASEAN member states are on on an equal level. Right. So all the ASEAN member states participate. Uh, more precisely, the Department of, Agri of Agriculture. So we have a focal point in each and every ASEAN member state, yeah. which, is, which is the official representative via the ASEAN. And this official representative also in turn has the mandate to call for national coordination right. meetings. Right. Um, then maybe another clar um, clarifying word uh, regarding um, GIZ. So we are a private international uh, company. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is owned by the Federal Republic of Germany. Okay. So in this regard, of course, um, our main mission is to support the Federal Republic of Germany in fulfilling its objectives. Nevertheless, we are privately organized. So the funding comes from the Federal Republic of Germany and more precisely from the German Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation mm. and Development. And in this regard, um, this has not been the first project of this kind, but uh, we built upon earlier success stories right. and from our side of course we are also very honored and happy to extend the Austrian german friendship okay um we're gonna take a short break but uh we will come back very soon and talk more about the project itself what is it, what's in it for germany that uh, actually actually helped commission this project um not go anywhere Thailand is world famous as a tourist destination because of its people, its culture and history. The nation is a study in diversity, combining lush landscapes with stunning seascapes. Exotic flavors shopping, sporting, and eco-adventure activities. Glittering, exotic, mysterious. Whether it's luxurious seclusion or vivacious fun you desire, Thailand has it all. Come and find your own wonder in amazing Thailand. Blessed with beautiful golden beaches, and many tranquil hideaways. Thailand offers the ideal setting for some of the world's best resorts and spas. Inspired by Thai customs and culture, the spa experiences here range from holistic healing methods to traditional treatments, and come in a variety of tailor-made packages to suit tourists' diverse needs. For those who wish to enhance their wellness experience even further, Thailand's resorts provide intimate retreats secluded between lush landscapes and serene seas. Thailand's growing sophistication as the premier sanctuary for stylish seclusion and relaxation is reflected in the luxurious spas and resorts that abound the country. Come and find your own wonder in amazing Thailand. Welcome back to the program. You're watching us in talks on ASEAN TV, and still with us today, Mr. Suryan Vijit Lekan from the uh, ASEAN Secretariat, and also Mr. Matthias Bico from the GIZ or the German International Corporation. And uh, we were talking about why um, the German International Corporation, how it is started. Can I ask? Since the German uh, government is the one that uh, funding this project, finance this project, what's in it for Germany? What's in it for Germany? So there are a variety of, of issues. I mean, first of all, we, um, we are definitely honored to uh, cooperate with uh, ASEAN and ASEAN Secretariat. So this is a, a great, great pleasure for us, for sure. What's in it? I mean, um, first of all, um, I would say, and I would not over exaggerate to say that we are experienced in the overall process of integration since we have undergone the, the same story um, since 56 when the Treaty of Rome was uh, signed and the European integration started. 
So um, we are a very strong believer of, of integration, of economic uh, integration and um, yeah, the, the great goal and objective ahead of us, um, 2015 as an economic community. You're talking about united as one community. Exactly, right? exactly. So this is, this is something um, where we are definitely happy to provide assistance. And of course, when it uh, comes to the agricultural sector, um, we have been executing um, bilateral and also regional projects in the region for a couple of decades already. And um, yeah, this is, this is one reason why we feel confident about um, supporting ASEAN member states and the ASEAN Secretariat in the best way possible. I think a lot of people might start to question why, why now? Um, it's 2015 and your plan is covered until 2017 and why people just start talking about sustainable business, sustainable agriculture and a lot of many, many things. Um, so it's, it's, it's come to the question, I, I just have a chance to talk to the uh, regional representative from FAO and uh, we're talking about the population that will be grown to 9 billion in the 2050 and we have to increase the food production by 60 percent. So uh, do you think that the sustainable agri-food will be uh, one of the answer? Um, for sure, I would definitely agree with the statement. Um, I would, I would uh, even um, emphasize a little bit more. I mean, without sustainability, we'll never get there. So the big question here in the ASEAN region, which has definitely potential to become the kitchen of the world, so it's a net exporter of agricultural produce. Um, the ASEAN region is, is a leading global exporter when it comes to uh, milled rice, uh, cassava, starch and dried, coconut, banana, coffee and a variety of other um, products as well. So in this regard, um, there is still some scope for improvement. Um, still some scope in, for, for improvement uh, regarding even, even producing more agricultural products. But this, could be, this, this overall objective uh, could be reached in a variety of different ways. So one way is to actually enhance the overall production. Another possibility would be to lose less of the production. We talked about it earlier. Um, so a lot of the harvest is actually lost before taken to the market. Right. And that's a big issue. Um, also, if we talk about efficiency, um, that's, a, that's a far better approach to first of all optimize your overall production before extending um, arable land, for example, and um, chopping off primary forests. So mm -hmm. this is definitely something um, which, which needs to be prevented. Uh, so there is a lot of pressure taken into account um, yeah, the overall uh, growth of population. Um, it, c it comes mainly from the, from the con consumer market. A lot of more products are um, required and requested by, by the market. So this is why we need not only uh, more produce, but also in, in quality more sustainable. terms. In quality right. terms. More efficiency. More, more efficiency right. and safer food. And this is a clear request uh, which comes from the consumers. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Suryan, we yes. know that this issue is important because we're sitting here talking about it right now. And uh, make it sustainable, it's, it's, it's another way to, to make it better for everyone. But uh, can I ask you how well aware of the ASEAN member states of these issues um, so far? Is the project has been going on for three years now and uh, mm. I would say this month is more like uh, official launch make it more uh, aware to the public? How well aware of other uh, member countries? Okay, well, uh, in fact, uh, what I referred to three years, that was in the preparation for right. the project, uh, and today is the official launch. Um, perhaps uh, I'd like just to take a few steps backward uh, in terms of challenges that we have. I think uh, Mr. Bigel was uh, saying that it's not only sustainability that agriculture would have to uh, take into consideration but in order to meet the growing demand for food uh, due to the uh, population increase, like just uh, what you have said, uh, we cannot just do the way agriculture has been done over the past number of years. So we have to do it in a sustainable way, but yet provide safe food, more uh, productive, efficient, and good quality. So along that line, it uh, guides us to see 
how what type of initiative or tools could help and this is leading to biocontrol agent. The reason that we discuss project now, not because it's just important now. It has been practiced, but at the national level. But right. we find that uh, the use of biocontrol agent has been limited due to certain issues, particularly in terms of cooperation at regional level. So it's about time now, mm -hmm. in order to prepare ASEAN member states to work towards a community by 2015, uh, addressing the issue at the regional level will allow ASEAN member states to tap on expertise exists in various countries, uh, put together as collective knowledge, share experience, and see how we can jointly promote this together. And this is what the project attempts to achieve. Uh, Mr. Bickle, I know it, uh, this is a very big project, um, and since it's official launch today, and probably a million things to do <laughs> to make it happen. What is on top of the priority of the activities or sub-project that's going on for this um, bio-control for the sustainable green food? Mm, there are a couple of priorities, I have to say. This, this will not directly answer your question, but let me just talk about um, a couple of um, priorities. So our first priority is to um, get the path of um, ASEAN spirit right, so uh, really to um, provide a platform for ASEAN member states uh -huh. for the right person, not only on a political level but also on an operational level, um, to be in a good position to cooperate with each other. So um, the overall concept or one of the overall concepts of this project is, um, as I said, to provide the platform for knowledge exchange. And in this regard, there are a couple of ASEAN member states uh, which are specifically in the very one subsector ahead of others. So this definitely mirrors the spirit of ASEAN integration, giving and receiving. So by, by cooperating, um, every ASEAN member state is better off than before. Right. So um, this is the overall frame, so to say. Uh, but a little bit more specifically, um, the project has uh, three components. So the first component is harmonization. Um, harmonization. Um, the second one is promotion of um, biocontrol agents. And the third one is capacity development. So when it comes to the first component, uh, we now concentrate on, let's say, being on the same page. That is to say, um, supporting the ASEAN member states. In, um, in the drafting process of guidelines that everybody um, could agree with and is uh, familiar and uh, happy, happy with um, to facilitate the registration process of sustainable agricultural okay. inputs. Okay. So that's needed in order to trade them. Okay. So okay. the second component, of course, um, we have to get the knowledge out there. That means not only uh, within and among ASEAN member states, but also to um, yeah, create awareness on, on the side of consumers. So the organic market in um, the ASEAN region is certainly growing. So the biggest market is Bangkok, more or less. Um, so that is all, also one of the reasons why we are um, happy that Department of Agriculture um, has offered to be the host of the project, uh, roughly about 100, 100 million dollars, but constantly growing. Um, so creating awareness and getting the knowledge out. And the third priority, if I may, may, may say, is capacity development. Mm -hmm. um, so that is uh, what German International Corporation stands for. So we are um, well known for our uh, capacities to provide capacity development, meaning training mainly. And this training comes on, on a variety of, of levels. So it's not only necessary to train the policy level, for example, registration officers, but at the same time also farmer groups, associations, um, or even consumers. So we work on a variety of different levels, which we call a multi-level approach. Um, in order to find the right ingredients to give the sustainable agricultural sector a push. So besides a lot of the uh, research um, and um, act, uh, beside, beside the research itself, I guess I, will, I can expect to hear more about the uh, learning program mm -hmm. from this project coming on from now on. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you plan to uh, go have some kind of forum or um, conference at other countries in the ASEAN anytime soon? 
after yeah. it's initiated here? Mm, yeah, obviously. I mean, we've, we've, we've already uh, participated in a, in a couple of conferences. So we, one of our strategic partners is IBMA, the International Biomanufacturers Association, with an annual conference in Switzerland. But it's a global, it's right. like the global apex in organization. In the bigger, bigger picture. Yeah, right. um, international um, Biocontrol Conference. Um, it's also annual and next week, uh, actually also in Bangkok, we are invited to provide a keynote speech um, at the new agricultural conference also here in Bangkok. So there are a variety of different uh, fora uh, where we try to, to get the message across. Yeah. Okay. We, we also discussed that um, uh, enhancing capacity or capacity development for the uh, biocontrol agent is not only confined to the use of biocontrol agent itself, but how the initiative uh, in a broader context of promoting sustainable mm -hmm. agriculture would have to be foreseen in the future right. in light of preparing ASEAN member state for regional community to be realized in 2015. So under the component of capacity development, we are going to conduct a series of uh, awareness building, capacity enhancement, uh, not only targeting at the government officials, researchers, scientific uh, community, but also the farmers, uh, the farmers, private sector, and also consumer of the products. The consumer themselves. of the products. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's all the time we have. Actually, I want to talk more about when we hit 2015 with all this free trade <laughs> and all the things flying around from all the members. How is that will affect the agriculture sector? But uh, that's all the time we have. I guess uh, that will have to be on the next issues, maybe later on maybe we have a chance to talk again after this project really full on um, and see what's happened Please. thank you very much for your time today my pleasure thank you and um, if we want to know more about biocontrol and the project we can go check on the, um, any website or yeah there's also a couple of websites but I'm but I'm sure um, you can also read the newspaper so okay <laughs> so just search for biocontrol for sustainable agri food systems in ASEAN and I'm sure you will find something there and that's all the time I have really last second already สวัสดีค่ะ